Welcome to MathCast Edition 9, where we will be using the area model to illustrate common factoring. But this time we'll be working with monomials and binomials. Quick review, positive algae tiles are blue, negative algae tiles are neg negative. And a reminder that only side lengths of the same length can be in contact between the two algae tiles. So a quick refresher. Over here we have x and the x squared. They have the shared side length. They can be in contact, whereas the 1 and the x squared can never be in contact because they do not have the same side length. Even if you stack a bunch of them together, this is not following the rules. So this is an incorrect use of the algae tiles. And it'll be important for today to follow those rules. Quick review of greatest common factor. You may wish to pause the video here and take a look at greatest common factor when there's an unknown present. Reminder that the brackets are multiplication. I just am not using the x as a multiplication sign because it does t sometimes get confused with a variable. So maybe pause this here and have a look. Refresh the greatest common factor. Quick reminder that when we were expanding in previous math casts, we were working from the dimensions, or the outside of the area model, in towards the area. When we're factoring, we're starting with the area and we're working ourselves backwards toward the dimensions. So let's begin. I would like to common factor x squared plus 3x. So I have my x squared, I have my 3x's. If I try and arrange these into a rectangle, I'll just move them around. I can do that. Now, although I've followed the algae, to, algae tile guidelines, I have all the same length and contact with each other, I failed to make a complete rectangle. So this is not an acceptable solution, and I'm not done. So I need to rearrange these. I'm going to start by taking this tile and rotating it. And now when I place it up here, I've actually formed a rectangle. And that fits. So now I'd like to measure the dimensions. The only way to get an x squared is to multiply two x's together. So I'm working backwards to get my dimensions. So x times x is x squared. To get an x in here, I need to multiply by 1. So these dimensions on the top need to be 1. So I fill those in. So now my dimensions are x and x plus 3. So my factor here is this format. So x squared plus 3x factors to be x times bracket x plus 3. If I check my greatest common factor, I can see that from each term there is a bold x in common. So my greatest common factor is x. And again, I'd like to point out that we can check this with distributive property. x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. And once again, I'd also like to point out the non-bolded terms in the greatest common factor here and here are the terms that appear inside the bracketed term. Next example. Lots going on here. I'm going to factor 4x squared minus 12x. So you can see I have a whole bunch of pieces. So I'm going to try for my first arrangement, just putting my x squareds up here and we'll see what happens. A lot of this is trial and error until you get the hang of it. So don't be disappointed if it doesn't work the first time. So now I have my x squared terms arranged. I'll place my negative x's here next to them, again matching up the same side lengths. And I can move these over. So this is starting to look like a nice rectangle here. And I'm about to hit a small problem, though, as I can see. I can only put my x's here, my negative x's, which leaves me with this large gap. So I have not made a rectangle, so I need to try a different arrangement. So I'm going to rearrange these terms along the top here and see if that helps. And now this might be a nice match. I'm going to stack three negative x's along the bottoms of each one of these terms. I'll rotate these guys so they fit. And I think I have a nice rectangle starting here. And 
yes, it looks like I will. So this could be a good match. Assuming I can move all these up quick enough. So now I need to determine the dimensions. So x times something gives me x squared. The only opportunity or the option I have there is to use a positive x. So x times x is x squared. That works for all of these terms. Now something times x gives me negative x. Well, that something would have to be negative 1. And I do a quick check. That seems to work. So the dimensions on the left side are x minus 3. The dimensions along the top are 4x. So my factored form of 4x minus 12 would equal 4x times bracket x minus 3. And if we check that with the greatest common factor, I can see that I have a 2, a 2, and an x common to both of those. So 2 times 2 times x is 4x, which is what's sitting out front. The unbolded terms, the x, the negative 1 times 3 here, are what's left inside the bracket. And once again, I can check this with distributive property. 4x times x is 4x squared, and 4x times negative 3 is negative 12x. My last example will be 6x squared minus 4x. I'm going to learn from my previous example and bring in all of my x squared terms at once in a nice rectangle to start the problem. I have these four negative x terms to place and I'm going to learn from the previous example as I said and build it along this lines. So my dimensions are going to be positive x's along the left here, or 2x. My top dimension will be x plus, well, 3x is there, and then I have to figure out what the next piece is. So that matches x times x is x squared. The last pieces I need to bring in need to turn these and x's to negative, so I'm going to use negative ones to do that. So I come up with 3x minus 2 as my top dimension. So when I factor this, 6x squared minus 4x should come out in factored form as 2x times the bracket of 3x minus 2. And feel free to pause this at any time and look over this more thoroughly. My greatest common factor, if I analyze both pieces, I have a 2 and an x common to both terms, hence that 2x is out front. And the unbolded components that are left make up the inside bracket. And of course, we can always check this by using the distributive property and multiplying it into both terms. So 2x times 3x, 6x squared, 2x times negative 2, there's my negative 4x. I think I'm onto something here. Lastly, self-check. If you'd like to pause the video now here and try this one on your own, and then I'll post the solution. So here it comes, the speedy version. So I have negative 3x squared, 6 negative x's. So there is my area model. Now I wish to find the dimensions, so I'll work backwards. And I'll post these first and then check them. x times negative x, negative x squared, wonderful. 1 times negative x, negative x. This seems to work out just fine. So the factored form of negative 3x squared minus 6x is negative 3x times x plus 2. If we check the greatest common factor for each piece, I see that I have a negative 1, a 3, and an x in common. And once again, the unbolded x and 2 are what make up inside the bracket. Thank you for your time. Once again, if you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please send me an email at childs underscore math at yahoo.com.